Actually, I wanted to be an artist. I always loved to draw and paint. And when I was in high school, my, my art teacher said, you've got, I think you've got, you know, talent. And of course, I just thought, well, I'll see myself as an artist. I'll, you know, go to New York and do all of this stuff. And my mother said, no, you're going to college. Went to Michigan State University and decided that maybe I'd go into advertising because you can be creative. I love to write. Well, I got into it and I didn't really like it. So I talked to my guidance counselor and I said, what can I do? What, where do I go from here? And she said, well, you don't want to lose your credits, so why don't you try telecommunications? And I said, okay, sure. And that's kind of how I got started. So it was just a, a wonderful time of learning things that I had no idea that I would be learning. Prior to coming here, I was in Pittsburgh. And I had been there for five years. I was married and had my daughter and all things were going well until my husband decided, he wasn't into monogamy. So I had a daughter and I was pregnant at the time with my sons. And not only that, within a year, my father passed, my mother passed. I gave birth to twins and it was a difficult pregnancy. So I was, I was in, on bed rest for about two months. And what happened was I got out of the hospital. I moved my kids to an apartment. I let him have the house. I decided that, you know what, I can do this on my own. I don't need him. I don't need anybody. I got a call from a station in Nashville. It was Channel 5. So what I did was I up and moved all three of my kids who were at that time three years and under and moved here and didn't know a soul. Ah, the advice I would offer young women today is to do you. Don't worry about what other people think about it. It's, you know, it, well, what kind of job is that? If it's something that you want to do, I think you should pick up the mantle and do it. Women are mechanics now. You know, you don't necessarily have to go to college to have a good career. Make sure you stay on the path of what you want to do because in the end, you're helping yourself. You have to satisfy yourself. You can't satisfy your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your uncle, your next door neighbor. You have to satisfy yourself. My dream is to help other women. I was a single mom for a long time. And so I would love to meet other single moms and say, you know what, I know that I had some perks that maybe other single moms don't, but in the end, we're all there trying to make sure our kids are growing and, and staying stable and what can we do? And I would love to be able to work with single moms and say, this is what I found out, let me help you. And even financially, I would love to do that. I've been saving money, so I wanna be able to take care of myself, but maybe take care of others too. Maybe reach out financially to other people. That That's my dream. Well, when they told me, I thought, yeah, right. <laughs> when I was notified, I'm like, there's no way. And they're like, yeah, you, you've made the cut. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was just so excited because I know so many of the great women who've gone before me. And I just feel as if, wow, I'm just stepping into hollow ground by being a part of the AWA. And I'm just, I'm so thrilled, you have no idea.